Okay, um, I'm back here with uh, my 4.7 liter Dodge engine, and I was uh, going over the timing a little bit yesterday, and I just wanted to kind of touch back on this. Um, again, you can see where you have your mark there, which you line up with that one little single blue plate, and then you have your two plates up there, and I'm getting kind of a glare and they line up in the center of that dot <clears throat> and um, and then you're going to have the two blue plated links showing in that window right there once those other two are lined up and it's the same on this side except the chain is on the sprocket actually back behind that chain there so it's kind of hard to see so you actually have to kind of line it up a little bit before you put it in there and I really can't get an angle where you can see it but um, it's it's center to that window as well <clears throat> and also I uh, think I forgot to mention that you want to put some rubber bands or something on there once you get those lined up to kind of hold that in place so it's not moving around you can see I've got the rubber bands that I had there and on this side as well now I've went ahead and I got my heads installed and um, you can see what I was talking about yesterday you just got the little dot <coughs> on that cam sprocket and it's going to line up with that blue plated link so you know you have it in line everything timed and then the same thing on this side you have the uh, dot lining up with that blue plated link and um, really not that difficult um, one of the things that you have to do is rotate these cams a little bit um, when you go to put the chains on um, you have to put the chain on this sprocket before um, you put the sprocket on it is so tight you cannot get the chain on there even with the tensioners off so you have to put the chain on the sprocket and then you'll slide it and it's got a little <clears throat> it's got a little nub on it there that lines it up but um, anyways you have to rotate this cam just a little bit and um, the only way I figured out you got a little like a little half moon shaped spot in the back here and the only way I figured out is I just made me a little tool like this and I just use that to rotate it a little bit that way you don't damage anything because you have to rotate it before you can put this on to get the little nub that centers the groove on this sprocket so you'll have to get that kind of rotated over so you can pull it up and into place. And then the same thing on this side. And like I said, I just put this little tool on my breakover bar and I just stuck it in there and rotated it to where I needed it. And uh, that seems to work out pretty well. It's really not that hard to get those on. Once you just rotate that little nub around <coughs> and you'll just slip the chain on the sprocket and... Um, you just kind of slide it right on and that little um, little dowel pin that's on the on the uh, cam will line up with that sprocket and get it right into place and then just put your bolt on and these rubber bands um, will stretch so it's not a problem and you just cut them off after you're done just ensure that everything is still lined up and that nothing moved and I've already checked through both of these windows and the blue links are in place and so everything looks good as far as that goes I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start putting my tensioners and stuff back on um, but I just wanted to go over that real quick and uh, maybe that can help somebody out or right, I thank you